sometimes crash in such a way that I lose progress. Um, stop your character from picking those up. It's just so... Oh, God. It's so annoying. And, you know, maybe I'll use them. It's a completionist run. Anyways, I'm getting... going way off from what I was saying. But what I was saying is, um... Oh, God. I need Gertzo here to remind me what I was even talking about. It's the problem of playing single-player games. Though, having another person can distract you with Yeah. I think I was talking about how in a normal playthrough. Uh, you know what? I don't remember. I don't remember what I was saying. God. Uh. Is it totally normal that I forget things like this? Is it because of my pills? Is it because I'm getting old? 
of all of them? I don't know, but... set a companion like Edie um, to um, pick things up for you automatically but then you, but at least you knew they were doing that that would actually be pretty neat instead of just randomly they grab something you're totally looking for but normally they don't grab anything seen that in all the times I've done this mission. 
I don't think I've ever seen a boomer outside boomer territory in this game. The way stealth works in this is so weird. I guess you just gotta upgrade the sneak ability. Maybe it works for you. I've never tried to do stealth. Um, well, I mean, I've tried, but I've never, like, really put effort into it. So... I'm not... I'm not sure if it actually works pretty well when you're actually... you've actually got a high stealth. Or if it's... What the fuck?! A fucking deathclaw?! Oh no... Uh... Yeah, it's not doing much, is it? Oh yeah, that is still above my strength, even with the uh, lowering it by two. Um, Anti-material rifle. Be good. Uh, let's see. I think it's actually this way. No, I was wrong. I wonder if incendiary is even better because it has flesh. But I do like. Down effect of explosive rounds but it doesn't seem to be working on this asshole. Oh, well, uh, that's. I guess that's it for him. Nice. Nice. Man. That actually freaked me out. I was gonna stay away from death claws as long as I could. Figures. On, on very hard. Because, you know. It's like uneasy. They can just. They can just absolutely destroy you. Look at the stim packs I have on my back. I'm in trouble. I guess that's the next thing I need to buy. I've been so focused on guns, ammo, and implants. I totally forgot I need to actually heal all the time, especially on this difficulty. I'm used to not having to use stim packs that often when I play this game is the thing. I'm used to having like way more than I need all the time. But man, that's right, I still can't even do average box. Um, so part of why I wasn't doing commentary before this was, it's like, um, like the commentary feels a little weird, but I know the game as well as I know this game. Like, I think the commentary works better when I'm a little more unprepared for what happens in the game. I have, uh, more insightful things to say, but, um, Keep looking. I don't know, I just changed my mind, I guess.
that was obvious there. That was an obvious choice there. Yeah, but I wish I knew, um... How long it takes for the, um... Morass hole to restock. With his, um... He sells the um, the weapon repair kits, which is amazing that you can buy weapon repair kits. I went through so much of this game. Like, how do you buy weapon repair kits? I never even knew that guy existed until I looked it up online. There's so much stuff in this game; it's just so easy to miss. Um, part of that is, you know, how big the game is. It's you know, which is a good thing, but another part of it is, um, has to do with, um, flaws in the design, which, you know, I can only fault them for so much, because they were only given so much time to do this, they wanted, I know they wanted more time, there was stuff they wanted to do more with, like, give more depth to the Legion, instead of just making them, you know, cartoon villains, um, stuff like that. I bet some people wouldn't like that. They'd be like, ah, oh, they're slavers, I don't want any depth added to them. It's like, no, you know, it's, um, I think it's better that way. It's, um, you know, you've got to understand that, um, even, even these horrific people can, can, can seem human, you know? Otherwise, you're not going to recognize it when it's right in front of you, right? You're going to think, oh, no, this guy's a nice guy, how could he be, blah, blah, blah. It's like, nah, he totally could. You don't know. Um, yeah, whatever I'm going with. Oh, there we go, there was some noise. I don't want to take the pot. The pots, I do not understand why pots exist in this game. Because they add weight and have no value. It's like, what is the point of your existence? I guess, I guess to hide little things of ammo in, like this thing right here, but... minds that. I, I, at first when I started this playthrough I wasn't trying to be this OCD. But the thing is I am this OCD. The, the normal way I play this game is retarded OCD. I want to loot everything and sell everything. It's the way I play Fallout 4. For, like Fallout 4 is a little easier to do that because you've got that um, the designated home base that you can put everything It, like this game to be fair like this game it's not that hard to break this game's economy but it is harder than in Fallout 4. Fallout 4 is like even people who don't play the game the way I do think that it's easy to break that game's economy. Um, let's see. Hello. Could you? But like I've got nine luck and I haven't even done all the um I haven't even done all the, I haven't even, you know, gotten kicked out of all the casinos. The thing is, is I kind of, it's kind of boring to me at this point to play blackjack. Even, no matter how, even though it doesn't take that long, like, whenever I play blackjack, any setback I get annoyed by. Just, I just want to win over and over, and then leave. I'm not actually that big a fan of playing cards. They used to be. And that was, that was like a teenager I'd play like not not like you know games you like really bet on. Well, we'd have bids, but it wasn't like it wasn't like for money. God damn it, I picked up a pop! I don't want a pop! Um we play games like Spades and 9-5 and Hearts. Um It can be pretty fun. But I don't know, it's um I don't think it translates that well when you're playing against an AI. Well, plus blackjack. I don't think blackjack is that fun. I think blackjack is just cool because it's like, oh, you know, here's a way I can win a gambling. Like, I mean, I'm sure that there are other um, games, gambling games, that are just as easy to um, win. Wanda, is that you? But they're like more complicated. It is Mistress Tabitha. How I've missed you, sir. Slots is less complicated, right here, me but right is right. you know, is it's a more of, of a crapshoot too. I also with slots, um, I've read online that you can, um, 
Here, take this. Win the big jackpot. I won't be needing it anymore. And it skips over your reward levels, so you don't get all the rewards. I don't know how true that is, Mr. but Tabitha, I read it, so I'm just gonna block it. Our journey it. has been much delayed, but we can catch up. And some of those rewards are pretty cool that you get. I'm kind of doing this, this completionist playthrough, I'm kind of doing it the way, like, my ideal playthrough. Um, I did mess up in the beginning where I let that girl die so I could get vitalized in, um, Good Springs. And I prefer that's an ideal run I'd be idolized, but I was trying not to be... Like, I'm trying to do as ideal a run as, as I can while allowing mistakes, basically. Like, I'm going to allow mistakes like that to happen and not run back and try and fix them. The one mistake ended up getting fixed by a, by a crash. So there's always that. I'll, I'll allow that, obviously. I'm not gonna, like, redo the mistake just so it's, you know... There's so many... There's, there's so many more perks you want in this game compared to um, Fallout 3, for instance. Like, Sprint. It sounds really good right now, but I don't know. I don't know if I want it right now. Um, I have. I, I should have like. I should have like a plan, like where I plan ahead. What I'm going to pick and see how many perks there are to pick. So I'm at level 20. Um, I've got. So that's 10 perks. And there's, there's 30 more levels, I think. 30 more levels means 15 more perks. 15 is a good number, so maybe I shouldn't worry too much. But you definitely shouldn't get things like here and now. Uh, you know, this will help me. You know, I'm probably going to do this because the, the Caesars guys are uh, a little harder to kill. Uh, I'm very hard. I mean, they're always a problem because they're all armored up, when, especially the hit squads they send after you. Which I probably should have just... I sh probably shouldn't have killed Vulpus and Victa, but you know... That's my... that is my preferred way to do that part, is to blow the living shit out of them. Um... And, like, like I said, for the most part, this is gonna be the way I prefer to do the game. Like, I think it's really cool in games to have, like, kind of evil options or, you know, less good options. But if I if I really care about the world of the game and the characters, I want things to go the best way they can. Like, that, that ending screen where they tell you what happens with each, with each character, like, it'll actually matter to me. You know, that, oh, my actions did that. I'll actually care about that. So in my ideal run... I'm trying to play it somewhat altruistic. Um, to an extent. You know, sometimes. The, you know, though I did do those missions for the Powder Gangers before betraying them, but that was just because I knew I could get those missions in. Um, even though, uh. I did, I had, even though I had done a Ghost Town gunfight. So in Ghost Town gunfight, you basically don't want to, you don't want to kill anyone, especially not Joe Cobb. Um, I mean, you can kill, I think you can kill a few, but generally you just want to damage them. Or you don't do Ghost Town gunfight until you finish I Fought the Law. You know, I can't remember which one I did on this playthrough, honestly. Um, If I'm not doing completionist, I actually like to avoid the science skill because I hate this mini game. It just it takes so long and so much effort to figure out what the right word is. I want to like like if you're like really high level in it, I feel like you should be able to make it easy as hell. It's, you know, but whatever. I don't know. 
Like, is there a perk that makes it easier? I know there's a perk that lets you retry one that you're locked out of, but, you know, that's, it only works once. It's not the best perk in the world, honestly. I mean, I guess if you're retrying, you just be extra careful. You should be able to get it. Like, if you're careful enough, you usually should be able to get it. Though there are definitely times where, like, it just fucks you. Because, like, every word you pick only has one letter right. Um, and it's not your fault that that happened. bother with that building yet. I know the, I know the, what's his name, Raul is in there, but I'm doing boom right now, so we can forget about Raul. And I'm finally finishing the fault, the Brotherhood, so I can wear power armor and get another strength bonus. And there's a power armor set that I think can give you plus two. That's the one I want to wear. Trying to remember which set you need to get so you're not disguised as Brotherhood. It's not good to be disguised as Brotherhood because the NCR, I think, shoots you on sight if you're disguised as Brotherhood. Even though, if you do this mission right, you can get them to help the NCR at the end. Maybe that changes at that point, but, you know, that's so the end of the game, so that's such a small section you can get away with being dressed up like them. Greetings, my friend. I think wanted to thank you for being such a I don't understand. 
understand what I did wrong. Alright, there we go. Have you heard the news? Elder McNamara has lifted the lockdown. Our patrols are always now. bringing more stuff That's in. Take a look. So, alright, so now she sells T45. Wait, that strength plus two, but agility minus two. Another satisfied. Who said I'm satisfied? Uh, why are you making assumptions like that? Alright, so. 251B. This is the one I want. It's um, there. There. Oh, uh, yeah. Alright. Alright. Looking to... Okay, Our patrols are always bringing more stuff in. Take a look.
Oh yeah, baseball. Yeah, or the baseball bat. Yeah, but the super sludge. This like it doesn't need maintaining. It's like perfect. But they put that option in there, and like OCD people like me will end up doing it accidentally. I did buy a submachine gun. Oh, I thought, I thought I did. Ugh, that's so annoying. Uh, can anything eat it? Let's see. Can I repair anything with it? Yeah. There we go. All American is now. You. It's pretty good. Especially since I'm using the surplus ammo, right? All right. Let's see. Hi there. Looking this to spend. This is most of the game. By the Our way. patrols are always bringing it's, more it's stuff tedious. in. Take a look. Yeah, I'm gonna buy the government, government ammo. You know, even though I'm saving a flamethrower, I'm not gonna buy flamer fuel. I'm not, sh like, I'm saving a flamethrower just in case I end up feeling like having, doing that, but honestly, I'm not sure I, I'm not sure I'm going to want to. Basically, what is my armor at? Can, uh, you know what, that's pretty good. I shouldn't buy more armor. You know, I've got, um, jury rigging, I can get it better eventually. Um, let's see. Oh, I want to see. Is there anything better than the Cowboy Repeater for 357 Magnum ammo? I don't think there is. I think that's as good as you get. Still got guns and ammo if you is important. 
right, I didn't give you anything. Right. I've still got guns and ammo. by me. What's fine by him? Don't ask. Oh, I guess he's reacting. Yeah. Duh. There you go. Carry Annabelle for me. Hey, buddy. Still making a nuisance of yourself? Satisfied customer. What do I care? No matter me, man. Let's see. 180 out of 210. Um, what about quests? Quests. Oh, actually, I should do whatever, whatever I will get. Alright, I'm gonna go down here. So, right now, um, so the way Boone's companion quest works is you get history points with Boone by, um, Mostly by doing specific missions where you um, kill Legion assholes. Um, so that's what I'm gonna do. Oh my god, it looks like it's crashing. What have I done? I haven't done anything. I've just sold things. That's this whole playthrough so far, is I just sell things and I'm, it's gonna crash now. I can find out if this mic is actually working. Yes, there is a. I, I re, like I recorded this with the possibility in mind that everything I just said 
was not being recorded because it's really finicky right now. I need a new mic. But it's not just the mic. It's, um, for whatever reason, this computer thinks I have two microphones. And it likes to default to a microphone that doesn't exist all the time. And I just don't know what to do about that. So because I have the anti-crash thing in, I sometimes let these go on and on and on. Because I'm thinking, you know, it might create a crash save. There's been a few times it's created a crash save for me. Um, sometimes it even pulls through this if you wait long enough. By the way, you, when it does this, you can't control alt delete the game. At least I can't. I don't know if other people are able to. Um, you can alt F4 it. You can also, um, if alt F4 isn't working, um, you can, what you, you control alt delete. I know I said control alt delete doesn't work. What I mean is like when you do control alt delete, you can't get to the task manager, but you can go to restart your computer and then cancel the restart before it actually restarts. Shut down the game is one of the first things it does when it's trying to restart them. But then it'll be like, oh, you've got these other programs running, and we want to restart. And if you're quick enough, you can hit cancel, and it won't shut down those programs to restart. Honestly, you have to be a super fan of the game to put up with this abuse, though. Like, this is with mods installed, and I'm pretty sure I installed them properly. I went by their rules. I did everything they said to do. I did a few um, dot INI tweaks as well. I might change one of the dot INI tweaks I'm doing. set how many um, CPU cores the game uses, and everyone says to set it to two, but I have more than two cores, so why, why would I set it to two? But maybe I should just set it to two. Maybe the game doesn't understand how to work above two. By the way, um, those dot I and I fixes, doing them for Fallout 3 absolutely fixes the crashing in that game. It doesn't crash anywhere near as much as this game does. Too bad it's not as fun as this game is. Alright, I think I'm gonna... Yeah. I'll be back. 